In this video, we will discuss the diagnostic criteria for pleural effusion. I have covered the entire topic in another video. You can go and watch it. So first of all, as I told in that video, there are certain causes. That is, it can occur with the involvement of pleura and that is without involvement of pleura. If it is occurring with the involvement of pleura, so it means that it is going to be exudative and if it is without the involvement of pleura, that is, it is going to be transudative. Okay. Uh, now first, I will mention all the exudative and then I will go on to the transudative. All right. So coming on to the first one, the first First cause is tuberculosis. So in this, what we see is the nature of the fluid. We see that the it is uh, it is serous, it is straw colored. Also, it forms cobwebs, cobweb formation on standing. Okay. Now, uh, so basically, uh, this is the appearance and this is the nature. Okay. Oh uh, wait, I'll just change it. Appearance and nature. So cool. Uh, so in nature, what I told you, it, it is involving the pleura because it is tuberculosis. So it will be exudative. Okay. Now the cells that are prominent are the lymphocytes. Now other features may you can mention about uh, basically a tuberculosis. What we see is we see granulomatous lesions. Also, there will be positive tuberculin test. Then we can even do the PCR for the tubercular antibodies and the antigens. Now the second uh, one we will discuss is the pulmonary infarction. In pulmonary infarction, the, the fluid is serous and it can be blood stained. Okay, and since it's involving the pleura, it's going to be exudative. In this, what we see is RBCs and eosinophils. Now, in this, what we will see is there will be factors which will be uh, favoring DVT. Also, we will see hematosis. After this, we will see malignant cause. Now, in malignant as well, what you will see is the fluid will be serous and it will be hemorrhagic. It is going to be exudative. Here, you will see serosal cells, the lymphocytes and malignant cells. Now over here, first of all, what we will see is uh, there will be a positive pleural biopsy. Also, there should be an evidence of malignant disease that is underlying a uh, cause. Okay, so these are basically the exudative ones. Okay, these are the exudative ones. Now coming on to the another one, uh, which is the uh, transudative so congestive heart failure in congestive heart failure what we will see is we will see a serous and a straw colored fluid it is transudate it will also have uh, serosal cells but few in number so uh, congestive heart failure ke features uh, you can mention that there will be a uh, heart failure there will be core pulmonale okay and then the uh, then also you can mention about that they will respond to the diuretics so after chf what we have is nephrotic syndrome in nephrotic syndrome it is very easy to remember first of all similar and but it can also be chylus it will be transudative okay transudative then it will contain mesothelial cells now if you remember uh, the nephrotic syndrome well it basically has hyperlipidemia hypercholesteremia also a lot of like um, uh, massive proteinuria then a uh, massive albuminuria basically then we also have coagulopathy as well right so all the features here will be shown okay uh, then cirrhosis of liver Similarly, same endothelial cells. Now here, uh, there has to be a history of hepatitis. Also, portal hypertension ke features like engorged veins, okay, and uh, caput medusae, splenomegaly, edema, everything. So the last cause is the hypoproteinemia. Hypoproteinemia so similarly same this is also going to be same now over here what you will see is there will be a uh, signs of protein and vitamin deficiency okay then uh, this is basically uh, uh, going to cause 
डायरिया माल अब्जॉर्बशन देन माल न्यूट्रिशन देन देर विल बी पीडल एडीमा देन देर विल बी वेस्टिंग ऑफ मसल्स सो दिस फॉर्म्स द क्राइटेरिया ऑफ फ्लूरल इफ्यूशन बेस्ड ऑन द फ्लूड दैट हैज बीन एस्पायरेटेड